What's up, fam? Rev Gens, time for phase two. Phase two of the man sales system. Very, very simple. It is adapt. The reason it is adapt is because something unexpected will happen in every single sale that you go on. It may not be major, may not be a big thing. You may not even realize it's happening. I know for me, once you get good enough and you've done the pitch enough time, you know your scripts inside and out, you really understand the concept of what you're doing, you will almost be shocked at how easy it is to go through the sale process and the person will just say yes. That is where you wanna to get to the level of mastery. And the reason you have to adapt is like for me, I have literally had situations that didn't make any sense at all. For example, I have been in a home and literally had a rat run across the floor in the middle of me doing my pitch. That is something that number one is a little disturbing and number two, you have to be ready to adapt to that. I've also been covered in bed bugs. Selling insurance makes absolutely no sense at all, but it's happened. Check my IG if you want that story. You have to be ready to adapt. So adapting is really, really simple. It's how you overcome whatever the objection or the reason they are not buying or moving forward with you. The main thing you have to find above all else is what is their pain point? What is their hot button? What is the reason that you're there, that they took the appointment, they took the call, or they're clicking on your page? Why is that? What is the purpose of this? And when you can figure that out, because every person's can be different. I sell insurance. I've literally had people call me because you know, they're afraid of burdening their children. People call me, they're afraid of you know, not having enough healthcare. They've called me, they're not afraid of you know, whatever. They don't have enough dental. They don't have enough this, that. It doesn't matter. Every one of them can be a little different. You just gotta know exactly what that is. And then you adapt the whole pitch to focusing on that one point because that's their point. That's what makes it important to them. If you're not making whatever you're talking about important to the person, you have no idea if they care. It doesn't matter. You know, Brad Lee, I believe said it best. He was talking about, uh, I think he said something about selling a dildo. He's like, you could have the best product on the planet, but I'm not interested in buying it. It's the same concept. Find out why they are listening to you. Why they took the appointment. What is the pain point? And then you have to adapt your whole strategy to focus on that point because that is the reason they will buy. There could be multiple. So try, don't get tunnel vision and just focus on one if they have multiple. But most of the time, most people will have one reason that they're there. Another good example, when you talk to folks like with what I sell about Medicare, there's three reasons why they're talking to you reasons are really simple. They want better hearing, vision, dental. They want to get some money back for their part B. Or, this is the most important one, they may need some extra help for their prescription drugs. That's the big three throughout my industry. So I know going into my sales pitch, one of these is the reason. If it's not, then I got to figure out what the reason is, but I can pretty well funnel them into one of these three things. I know that it's really good that you are industry specific. You already know those things about your industry. So another perfect example for that, and this is one I like to use a lot, so I know a little bit about it, not enough to be an expert, but enough to be dangerous. Solar. What are the three reasons why people buy solar? What are the big three? Number one, saves them money, particularly on their energy bill. As you know, time goes on, energy costs are going up. They want to they wanna own their own power. They don't want to have a hefty bill in 10, 20, 30 years. Number two, they want to do something really nice or good for the environment. They want to lower their carbon footprint. That matters to them to be, you know, eco-friendly. Very cool, you know, very cool, but that's a point. That's something that someone would buy something for. And then the third one, and this is something that I have realized uh, having dealt with a few well, a bunch of solar leads and helping a few of my friends in the solar industry. There's a lot of people that just want to be self-reliant. They want to own their own power, meaning they have it and the power company can't shut them down. So they're kind of like your prepper, like, you know, they want to be self-sufficient. You know, if, if the power goes out, their battery will last. 
You know, they have their own power. They don't have to worry about a storm or something like that. Uh, that's kind of a big deal if you live in a hurricane zone or you know, it gets a lot of snow, any weather areas. I've met quite a few people that that was one of their big reasons. I said, you know, what made you choose this? Oh, we want to have a nice power wall in case, you know, the energy goes out and our, you know, our line gets knocked down our house and we don't lose all of our refrigeration or our heat or air conditioner or whatever. That's awesome. If you already know that about your industry, you can funnel those people right into whatever those reasons are. And 99% of the time, the people will pick one of those reasons because they're the most logical. So you want to be able to adapt your pitch to focusing on whatever their pain point is at a moment's notice. Every single person's can be different or they can have multiple. You know, particularly another example I like to use for folks, how do you adapt? Someone walks onto a car lot, you have no idea what that person wants other than you know they're there to look at a car or truck. That's all you know about them. So you have to adapt your pitch to why they should buy whatever it is from you as fast as you can. For example, someone's standing on the lot, you literally say, okay, do you know what you're looking for today? No, no, I don't have any idea. Okay, well, let's go look at sports cars. Why? Well, if it's one person standing there, a single guy or a single girl, start with a sports car. It's a two-seater. They go, oh, no, I need more seats than that. I have a family. All right. Now you funnel them down to needing an SUV or a minivan or a pickup. You know, it's all that you're just funneling. That's all adapting is, is helping funnel that pitch down to focusing on what they need it to do, whatever it is. The product can be anything. So right back to the cars. They've got three little tiny kids. All right, so we're looking, you know, SUVs or minivans. You know, they're easy to get in and out of. They're efficient. They're safe. Are those things important to you, Mr. and Mrs. Customer? And they'll answer. If they say, no, I don't give a shit about my kid's safety, we're going back to the sports car because put that kid in the trunk. You know what I mean? Like, that's how you got to think about it is you need to funnel them into what is most important. You have to adapt the pitch to their pain point, to their focus, to their importance level can be done with any product. And if it's not done, you're basically throwing darts at a board with a blindfold on. You might hit the target, you may not. Probably not most of the time. But if you do this process correctly, you adapt the pitch to them, find out what their pain point is, what their, their reason to buy is, and focus all of the reasons for that. You know, Shine a light brightest on that spot. Chances are good they're gonna buy. And there's not gonna be a lot of resistance because it will make not only the most logical sense, it'll make emotional sense because most of the time when people have this pain point, there's an emotional tie to it. That's why we have to adapt the pitch. We adapt to them. You know, if they are emotionally very up, you know, upset about something, that is a perfect thing to focus on 99% of the time because it will create action. It creates motion for them. For example, with the vehicles. I literally was talking to a guy who sells Volvos and he basically sells fear. You know, he's like, look, you know, Volvo is an awesome brand or a luxury brand, but you know what our claim to fame is, is safety. You know, Mr. Miss Homeowner, how would you feel if you were in an 80 mile an hour accident and, you know, someone didn't make it because you weren't in a Volvo? Well, they'd feel fucking terrible. Like, yeah, they'd feel terrible. They'd be, they'd feel lousy. You know, they would be broken. Well, you can solve that by going with the Volvo S60. It's one of the safest cars on the planet right now. And I, this guy was an absolute killer. And I was like, wow. And he goes, yeah, I always ask him if that's important to them. You know, how the car does in a crash. He's like, because we are an expensive car brand. We don't have the fastest car. We don't have the most luxurious car. But we are luxurious. We are pretty fast. But we got the safest. And I was like, all he did was adapt his whole focus right onto that spotlight. And every person is gonna say that's important because they're in the car too. It's their life. You can do this with anything, literally anything. I knew a guy uh, that sold, he sold some sort of uh, flame retardant, like light bulbs or something. I have no idea what the product was. It was very strange to me, but it was like a flame resistant outlet. And it basically his pitch was about, you know, is energy efficiency important to you and you know, protecting your home from a fire. Energy efficiency and fires, everyone's going to say yes to that. Like, even if they don't care about energy efficiency, no one wants their house to burn down. 
Very, very unlikely. The guy, he knew exactly how to adapt the pitch, instantly find a pain point and make it important to somebody. So like I said, subscribe below. If you have any questions about this, this is one of the most important aspects of any sale is figuring out what the other person wants. I believe it was Jim Rohn that said, if I help you get what you want, you'll help me get what I want. That is the most important aspect of this system. Being able to adapt to put the spotlight right on the reason and the factor of why they're buying. And particularly if that's emotional. Anytime a reason has an emotional attachment, it's one of the strongest signals to make someone take action. That's all we want. If they take action, we can make a sale, period. Get out there and sell something.